Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to CNC 2018. Uh, from folks outside of our hospital, welcome to Houston Methodist. Um, we have a fantastic program uh, lined up today with some amazing speakers. Uh, not only that, we are going to have a full house as people roll in uh, this auditorium. I expect to be completely full, so please uh, allow more folks to join in where you are sitting. So try to move in to the center of the uh, aisles as much as possible. Before uh, we start our program today, I wanted to uh, share certain housekeeping notes with you all. So first and foremost, um, we have a disclosure in terms of, uh, in accordance with the policies of Houston Methodist and the AC CME office, Office of Continuing Medical Education, we are committed to the practice of disclosure by anyone who has the potential to influence the content whether it's a faculty or presenters, planners, et cetera. Presenters have been asked to disclose unlabeled use of investigational use not yet approved by any purpose of a drug or a device and provide adequate scientific and clinical justifications for such use. For your reference, the disclosure and financial and other relationship and drug device status statements are included in the activity materials. Any organizations or companies that have provided educational grants or other support for this activity are also acknowledged in the activity materials and the signage outside the meeting rooms. If at any time during this activity, you feel that there has been a commercial or a promotional bias, bring it to our immediate attention. Please answer the questions about balance and objectivity in your CME activity evaluation. I hope you all have our brochure. This outlines this process a little bit more in detail. We would like you to make everyone aware that these presentations are going to be made available online via the website. So that's one of the perks of kind of uh, signing up for this conference. You will have access um, to this uh, slides um, and the presentations. Also, we would like to acknowledge acknowledge our exhibitors. Um, please uh, show our support to them by visiting that table during the breaks, obviously not during our talks, during the breaks, and at lunch, of course. This is uh, very important, and we would love for us to interact more. Um, we encourage there will be a question answer session after each hourly session. And uh, we basically, as a format, have divided our talks into uh, eight sessions of each hour. But after every presentation, there will be a time for Q&A. And we strongly encourage all of you to please ask us questions. And one of the ways uh, to do that is to text Methodist to 37607 or go to polleve.com slash Methodist to send an anonymous question, anonymous. Uh, but please feel we encourage you to uh, ask more questions. At this point, I would like to invite my co-chair, Dr. William Zogby, um, to preside over uh, this conference and the moderate the morning session. Among the amazing faculty we, we have, we are lucky to have today, uh, no more is more luminous than Dr. Zogby. He's our chairman uh, of our division. He's a professor of cardiology here at Houston Methodist Hospital. He's also Elkins Family Distinguished Chair in Cardiac Health. But his impact lies way beyond Houston Methodist. He is a global ambassador for our uh, cardiology professionals. Uh, he has been the president of American College of Cardiology, American Society of Echocardiography. He has been responsible for numerous journal articles. He sits on numerous boards and numerous editorials on all these journals. But what is really close to all of us who have been trained by him is his ability to educate generations of cardiologists. And we are very privileged, and I'm honored to have Dr. Zogby moderate our session.
Thank you, Alpesh, and good morning, everyone. I know you're awake. You're amazing, actually. And um, it is a pleasure, number one, to have you. This is our second year to do this uh, forum, Cardiology for the Non-Cardiologist. Hope you like the name. It is catchy. It certainly was catchy for you because you're here. And uh, uh, we, we do a lot. Of, we love education, and we do a lot of targeted, uh, specialized, if you will, uh, forums and, and programs for the cardiologist, be it valvular heart disease, techniques, imaging, etc. But we thought last year, and actually this course is the brainchild of Dr. Shah, Alpe Shah. He wanted to do that, and I, I was very enthused that he really wanted to do that because the field has grown so much that if you're not in cardiology, even for the cardiologist, it's hard for them to keep up with what's going on. Uh, I know we have uh, Dr. Jones and Dr. Muntz and so many other you know, physicians here who, when we were in training, and we trained in cardiology, I think if you look at the field now, it is so different, I and mean, we could throw away most everything we learned except for diuretics, and, um, and that's about it. Uh, the field is very different, and I'm so glad that you're here because cardiology will touch whatever you do. If you're a primary care ophthalmologist, intensivist, hospitalist, nurse, nurse practitioner, technician, whichever way. And, and I'm glad you're here. And what, what this forum is about is basically almost like a boot camp. Within one day, on a Saturday, I'm glad you're taking this. Uh, to give you a snapshot of what's going on in risk, in coronary disease, in imaging, some of the tests that you order, heart failure, various things. So it is intense. It is made to just within 15 minutes, hopefully give you a snapshot from all the specialists here. And, uh, and hopefully by the end of the day, just before um, you know the horse race tonight, uh, that and that you'll be uh, uh, you'll have so much uh, hopefully more information on cardiology, so uh, that you feel enriched with this program. Um, this building, if if you're not from Houston Methodist, and I know almost half of you are not, are either from the neighbor uh, neighboring institutions or from out of town. Uh, this is also beamed live uh, for the nation and worldwide, basically, for people to, to know that. It is recorded so people can access it also afterwards. So I think uh, it's great. But this building is actually, although it's called the Research Institute building, this is where we do quite a bit of our education. Um, you're not going to visit, you know, the fifth floor, which is dedicated for education and simulation. So what I thought of maybe showing you a video as to... Houston Methodist and the areas of, of interest that we're doing. And, uh, and hopefully maybe in other courses, you'll come and feel uh, you know, this place of simulation on the fifth floor, 40,000 square feet dedicated for simulation and education. So can we roll the, the video, please? We are proud to be part of Houston Methodist Hospital, which has served our community for almost 100 years. In that time, we have become a world-renowned healthcare destination for academic leadership, innovative research, and technology. But we're most proud of the care we provide to our patients. It has helped to earn our hospital an important national recognition. This commitment to patients is a vital part of why U.S. News and World Report ranks Houston Methodist Hospital on its honor roll of the country's best hospitals. The magazine also ranks us the number one hospital in Texas and in Houston for the fifth year in a row and places us among the best hospitals in 10 specialties in the country. We have appeared on the best hospitals list for 24 consecutive years. Houston Methodist Hospital and all the medical centers on this list excel at everyday care, as well as treating complex cases with patients whose unique condition pose unique and unusual medical challenges. 
Houston Methodist Hospital remains among the nation's leaders in delivering the best possible outcomes with the highest quality of care for our patients. Our dedicated employees and physicians make this recognition possible. Our goal is to always put patients at the center of everything we do. We're honored to be recognized among the nation's best hospitals for our patient care and service. And we are grateful to you, the community, for supporting Houston Methodist Hospital throughout our history.